A rational function can be written in the form r of x equals p of x divided by q of x, where p and q are polynomial functions and q is not equal to zero. Let's write out the generic definition of a rational function using the polynomial definition that we saw earlier. So r of x is a sub n x to the n plus a sub n minus 1 x to the n minus 1 plus, and that will continue all the way down to a sub 1 x plus a sub 0. And now we're just going to divide that by another generic polynomial. Let's call that b sub m x to the m plus b sub n minus 1 x to the m minus 1. And that will continue down to b sub 1 x plus b sub 0. I know that looks ugly and scary. We don't have to memorize that. Really what we want to be able to recognize is just a few key pieces of this. We want to recognize the leading coefficients and the leading terms of the numerator and denominator. And eventually we'll also be using the constants later in the chapter. Up next we'll find domain and write that in interval notation. Recall from previous sections that when we have a rational function like this, we simply want to exclude values that cause division by zero. So we can find that by setting the denominator equal to 0. Subtract 4 on both sides, and we get x is negative 4, and that's our restriction. So if you have trouble with interval notation, we can always sketch a graph. There's an open circle at negative 4, and everything else is included on the number line except for negative 4. So then setting up our domain, the first interval is negative infinity up to negative 4. We'll use a parenthesis since we're excluding the negative 4. And then we jump back to the second interval, negative 4 to infinity. And we now have the domain. In the next example, we again want to set the denominator equal to 0. This will help us find the restrictions. This is a quadratic that we can factor x plus 6 and x plus 2. Set each of those factors equal to 0. And solve these independently. x is equal to negative 6, and that's our restriction. x is equal to negative 2, and we'll call that a restriction as well. If you need help with the interval notation, you can always sketch a graph. We have a number line, but we are excluding the values negative 6 and negative 2. And then the interval notation will have the three separate intervals, negative infinity to negative 6, union negative 6 to negative 2, and finally we'll join that with negative 2 to positive infinity.